Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In my last upload here on YouTube a while ago I went flying in the fully electric, fully certified Pipis Travelis trainer aircraft. Electric planes are becoming a real thing and more and more concepts, projects and uh, prototypes are in the making all over the world as I'm speaking. One of these projects that uh, particularly took my attention is taking a shape right behind these hangar doors down there. Some of you might be familiar with the Sling TSI, which is a popular four-seater kit plane from South Africa that you can order in parts to build all by yourself at home. A group of students from the Technical University here in Zurich are doing just that. But it's not gonna be any regular Sling with a combustion engine. No, these guys are actually putting in an electric power train that they are developing all by themselves. They invited me to take a look at uh, their project and you guys are more than welcome to join me on this little tour today. Let's go have a look. Hi there. Hi. 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 Nice to see you. It's great to see you. Yeah. Um, my name is Alex. I'm co-founder of the Eastlink Focus project and supporter of the Focus students in this project. And yeah, welcome to our hangar. Let's show you around. We are here at the experimental setup for our self-developed drive train at Eastlink. We've just started with the testing phase, right now verifying our inverter, thereby using this smaller motor which we got to borrow by ENA, our partner, who's developing our big motor that we will then build into the airplane. Here you can see our testing stand and later on a propeller will be attached on this side so that at the end we can verify the entire electrical powertrain. So this is the wing. Um, we will place the battery box uh, in this part of the wing. Um, and then we have a second battery box obviously at the second wing and a third battery box in front of the canopy. Uh, what is special about this wing, we elongated it first with a uh, non-part and the second part will then will be elongated by the winglet um, which will be uh, longer. Why did we do this? Um, quite simply this increases the efficiency of the uh, aircraft flying which is quite important for us as electric aviation still has a range problem. Why didn't we go longer? There are two reasons. First of all we didn't want uh, to have a sailplane and therefore also the not so good handling anymore. The second reason is every meter of wing costs us weight and we have a maximum takeoff weight of 950 kilograms. So we would need to save this weight at the batteries, which would decrease our range. Here we see the rear fuselage. We just connected them um, past week and we continue installing the controls with all the push rods. On the front, there will be uh, most of our technology installed with uh, our engineered drivetrain, the motor, inverter and our uh, small battery in the front. In the cockpit, we are looking how to uh, install our hoses and our high voltage and low voltage cables. It will be quite a challenge to fit everything in. End April we will send the canopy and the rest of uh, the fuselage and the wings to do the paint job. So these are the battery cells we are using. They're uh, 21700 from Samsung, state-of-the-art battery cells with a very high energy density of over 260 watt hours per kilogram. So these here are now the bonded battery packs. We have 19 packs side by side in each wing. In total, we have 38 kilowatt hours energy in the wings. Further, we have approximately 15 of these battery packs in the motor. Now, yes, guys, you're right. It looks like there's a lot of work to be done until all these bits and parts are put together to form one electric aircraft. 
However, these young people are targeting to uh, get their plane airborne uh, within a couple of months, actually. The machine you're seeing here is an autoclave that uh, these students have at their disposal together with other science projects in the same hangar from the same university. Using this autoclave they can uh, manufacture custom designed uh, glass and carbon fiber parts. Um, for example, the winglets that they are designing by themselves. So guys, we uh, left the hangar. Um, we're now in the offices here in order to be able to talk without the masks. Of course, I had some further questions uh, regarding the project that we just uh, got a tour about. Maybe for a start, give me a little bit of background. How did the entire project start? Whose idea was it to build an electric airplane? So the project started actually with an electric motorcycle. Um, it actually was quite famous, um, was a lot in the media, and Carl Schmidt, a pilot, um, then decided to go to ETH and ask them about electric aviation. And ETH itself doesn't have an uh, aviatic department, so we needed to start from new. We needed to find out what's, what's going on on the market, and that was the Bachelor Thesis of Nikolai Solenthaler and me. And based on that, we then decided to start a focus project, um, found a partner with Sling Aircraft, and I was honored to go to South Africa and make the modifications to the aircraft. And since September, uh, our students are doing the hard work uh, in designing and building the aircraft. So, Anna, maybe just give me some background. Um, you're a group of students from I think mechanical and electrical engineering, how many are there? And uh, t just tell me a little about that. So we're a team of 12 students in total, coming from either mechanical engineering or electrical engineering of our third year of our bachelor studies at ETH. And um, to be exact, we are nine mechanical students and three electrical engineering students. And we're split up in uh, four teams having software, batteries, mechanics, and then the last one, motor inverter, and that's where I'm part of. Sounds awesome. Alex, you mentioned um, the Sling. Why did you uh, choose the Sling? How did the partnership with a Sling aircraft uh, from South Africa start? So what was important for us is that we have a partner who stands behind us uh, and who helps us and who is uh, also allowing us to make changes to the aircraft. Uh, that's quite um, an interesting problem for most um, aircraft manufacturers, they don't want to give up their secrets. And yeah, so Sling um, was able to do all of that. And um, we got to know them over, uh, again, over Carlos Schmidt, over ABB connections, um, as we were able to once um, present our project at ABB. Uh, and that's, yeah, then started talking, uh, the talks in ABB. Sounds interesting. I guess the question that you guys might be hearing most, what's the range and well, what's the range or what's the endurance that you guys are targeting with, with this plane? So um, full capacity, which is uh, a maximum takeoff weight of 950 kilograms. We have uh, an endurance of roughly one and a half hours. Um, that's um, around 250 kilometers range. That sounds uh, impressive. Um, the heart, not the heart, but maybe one of the important bits of uh, the electric powertrain are the batteries. You already showed me a little bit about the batteries before in the hangar. I guess the biggest problem, biggest issue with electric flight for the time being is the limited uh, energy density of the battery cells. Um, you're emphasizing your, your powertrain that you're um, developing is uh, modular. Um, can you tell how much work is going to go in to like re-evaluating and uh, recertifying new batteries once better batteries are coming out in the future? So the uh, certification of the batteries is uh, not that hard to do. We just need to prove that they um, can withstand certain loads and that we can, um, that it can fly the normal flight of the aircraft. So if the batteries get better, um, it gets less and less uh, hard to certify them, which is uh, quite positive for us, obviously. Let's look into the future. Once uh, your project is completed in May, is there any uh, long-term commercial interest with your project? Do you think you can maybe 
sell this to a sling or by yourself? So this is a research pro uh, program. Um, it's fully research. Um, we don't have any commercial uh, goals. What is important, research should always be in the sense of what could be a possible business case. How could this be used in, uh, in, in the normal business world? And therefore, we uh, just work hard to do our part and hopefully we'll see our parts in the future somewhere in aircrafts or either the entire uh, yeah, craft run. Perfect. Already talking about money, how did you fund the, the entire project? So um, at the start we already had a huge partner with Sling Aircraft because they are actually sponsoring us the, um, their Sling TSI. So we have the chassis. And then ETH is providing us the logistics here so that we get to use the hangar here in the Innovations Park. And then we found another huge partner with E&A, that's a Swiss motor manufacturer. So they are doing the stator and rotor of our engine and we're doing the cooling and the mounting. And apart from that, we have over a hundred other companies that sponsor and support us by giving them further material. Do you have a deadline or like a target when your first flight's going to be happening? Um, not really. So we want to do that in August, um, but the largest part there is obviously the certification. Um, and we don't know how long it will take. That's, yeah, it's going to take as long as it's going to take um, for safety reasons. And yeah, we hope that uh, together with the puzzle we will uh, finish that in August. Entirely unselfish question, who's going to be flying the plane once it's finished? <laughs> so um, it's been in the talk that it would be Carlo Schmid, who initiated this entire project. And who's also part of it while we're building it. So, so he's going to be the first pilot then? That's very probable. <laughs> all right, now thanks so much for all of your answers. It's been super interesting, super exciting to be here today. Thanks for being here. I'll, of course, be following along uh, your progress in the upcoming weeks. And yeah, now, viewers, it's uh, time uh, for you to get involved a little. First of all, you can find out more on the entire project by checking out the website project's website which is shown below and I'll also put in a link in the video description. Some of you might know that building a plane like this is quite expensive and these young people are still welcoming supporters who might be able to help fund the project a little. So please check out the, the website on uh, that. I think this is the perfect way to contribute to a cleaner and greener aviation of the future. You'll also have the chance of uh, winning a sightseeing flight with Swiss uh, skiing legend Dominic Giesing if you decide to donate. Also post your comment or your question down below this video. I think Anna, you might have the time maybe to check out the comment section and answer questions firsthand yes, from time definitely. to time. That's amazing. So yeah, please uh, comment below and also like this video in case you enjoyed watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon, stay safe and many happy landings out there.